Chanak, Enoch, 67. In those days, the word of Elohim came to me and said, Noach, behold, your lot has ascended up to me, a lot void of crime, a lot beloved and upright. Now then, the angels are making a wooden structure, but when they proceed to this, I will put my hand upon it and guard it. The seed of life shall arise from it, and a change shall take place, that the dry land shall not be left empty. I will establish your seed before me forever and ever, and the seed of those who dwell with you on the surface of the earth. It shall be blessed and multiplied in the presence of the earth, in the name of Yahuwah. And they shall confine those angels who disclosed impiety in that burning valley, which at first my great-grandfather Hanak showed me in the west, where there were mountains of gold and silver, of iron, of fluid metal, and of tin. I beheld that valley in which there was great perturbation, and the waters were troubled. And when all this was effected from the fluid mass of fire, and trouble them in that place, there arose a strong smell of sulfur, which became mixed with the waters, and the valley of the angels, who had been guilty of seduction, burned underneath its soil. Through that valley also rivers of fire were flowing, to which those angels shall be condemned who seduced the inhabitants of the earth. And in those days shall these waters be to kings, to princes, to the exalted, and to the inhabitants of the earth, for the healing of the soul and body, and for the judgment of the Ruach. Their Ruachotot, rather, their Ruachot shall be full of lust, that they may be judged in their bodies, because they have denied Yahuwah Savaot, and they perceive their condemnation day by day. They believe not in his name. And as the inflammation of their bodies shall be great, so shall their Ruach Ot undergo a change forever. For no word which is uttered before Yahuwah, Savaot, shall be in vain. Judgment has come upon them because they trusted in their carnal revelry and denied Yahuwah Savaot. In those days shall the waters of that valley be changed. For when the angels shall be judged, then shall the heat of those springs of water experience an alteration. And when the angels shall ascend, the water of the springs shall again undergo a change and be frozen. Then I heard holy Mikael answering and saying, This judgment with which, rather, 
with which the angels shall be judged shall bear testimony against the kings, the princes, and those who possess the earth. For these waters of judgment shall be for their healing and for the death of their bodies. But they shall not perceive and believe that the waters will be changed and become a fire which shall blaze forever.